The artwork for Anime Podcasters is provided by GoPro Keo. Please go follow him at GoPro Keo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special bonus episode of Anime Podcasters. I am back home from Montreal. I am back home, so I decided to do a special episode where in this episode what we're doing is we are going to be listening back to some old clips of the podcast that you guys selected and a few that I threw in there that I really enjoyed, and we're going to look back upon them. You know, We've been doing this show for a while now, and we have enough episodes to do a bit of a throwback bonus episode. And on this episode, unfortunately, it is just me. Don't worry, Yuki will be back in the next episode, I'm sure. There's no anime podcasters without Yuki, you know what I mean? And you'll definitely get to hear her on the uh, clips that we're going to be playing today. All right, guys, I am Giant Music, and welcome to Anime Podcasters. This first clip I want to play that is just uh, a really funny moment for, uh, for me was back in episode two of the podcast. So originally Anime Podcasters was me and Kyo and we decided to make this podcast just because, just because we always spoke about anime together. So I was like, let's let's do something with this. And uh, on this episode, we had Hotshot and uh, Kyo decides to introduce me and then calls me Jaden Yuki from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and Hotshot kind of loses it. Check this out. <laughs> We're also joined by our co-host, uh, uh, Jayan Music. I thought you were going to forget my name for a second. They're like, uh, what's his name again? <laughs> uh, uh, J- J- Jaden Jay. yeah. Yuki from yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX has joined us today. <laughs> what's up, guys? But at all, for real. Hi, guys. Jayan Music here. I'm super happy about this podcast. That's all Imagine I have to that say. character one more time and I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh time God. to duel. Okay, that's it. I'm gone. No, I'm not you. See ya. You're not special. <laughs> Done here. You're not special to me. Get all y'all. I legit thought like Hot Show was w- was gone, and then turns out he was still in the room, which was kind of a fun thing. This is what happened then. But we care about you. Well, Ginger, I care. He was gonna he was gonna drink your soul later on. You might as well have gotten him out of your out of your. Yeah, no, circle. that that's a good call. Thank you. I, I'm <laughs> very happy that you care about my well being that much. You know, like, you'll just kick out like our guest hosts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just gone. I wasn't deaf. Oh man! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! That was such. a... Such a ridiculous moment. I loved it so much. This next clip is uh, from episode 15 of the podcast. It's one of the more recent episodes. Uh, It's where Yuki and I decided to talk about uh, Attack on Titan. And just to set up this uh, next clip, uh, Yuki and I were talking about Potato Girl. And there's this abridged uh, Attack on Titan series made by Team Four Star. And I don't know how it ended up happening. But Yuki and I decided to start imitating the Drill Sergeant from that um, abridged series. Because it's one of the best characters in that abridged series. Series, and she imitated him so well I was laughing so hard just just listen to this god like it reminds me of like team four stars attack on Titan of bridge oh, that was the best which is now which is now dead this is now a one shot do you know what's a good way to burn off calories <laughs> next scene she's just like <laughs> what <laughs> harmonize <laughs> with me <laughs> <laughs> Harmonize with me. Oh, it was such a great scene. Hold on, hold on, I got this. Well, sweet Mother Teresa, I'm on a Mercedes van. You sound like a majestic fucking eagle. Can you sing? Harmonize with me, Megan. <laughs> you sound like so much like him. That was great. I tried. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you could basically be like in the military now, Yuki. You're that much of a savage. Good. That's one of the reasons why I love podcasting with Yuki. She, she's just so spontaneous and hilarious. <laughs> it's just <laughs> that was so great. I'm sorry. Just listening to the back made me laugh so hard. Oh my god, that was uh, such a funny moment. All right, this next clip is from episode four of Anime Podcasters, where we decided to talk about Death Note. On this episode, I had Ben and GoPro Kyo on with me, and at some point, I made some sort of joke that made. Church laughed so hard he he started coughing really hard and and then I, I kind of made a mistake and those guys didn't let me uh, get off uh, uh, easy with it. Uh, just listen to this. I this is a clip where I I kind of uh, I'm on the losing end, but it's still pretty funny. So check this out. Yeah, they're not For investigating sure. each other, trying to kill each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's solve this crime. No, fuck you, bang. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> 
I'll eat a potato yes. chip and shoot you. No. <laughs> I'll take a potato chip and eat it. <laughs> oh, man. I think we killed Church with that one. <laughs> I think uh, I think Church uh, Church is getting his name in the in the death note with that one. He's gonna he's gonna he's coughing too much. <laughs> Choking on podcast. Oh no, Church, are you alive? Are you still with us, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But um, I am a ghost. You are a ghost. Okay. You are a Shinigami. <laughs> no, that's not no. a ghost. Well, you know, it's kind no, of no, 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 no. It's not. No, no, no. Go no, no, to Bleach if you want to. Okay. This, well, you know what? You're not in the right anime right now. I'm not in the right anime. I'm not, the, I'm not on the right podcast. No. <laughs> this is not Yu Yu Hakusho, all right? Okay. Okay. No. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Point for Keo and Ben. I get it. And I absolutely want to say, after listening to that clip, I know that a Shinigami is not a ghost. It's a god of death. I know that. I know that. I know that. You. I can assure you, I learned my lesson. All right, this next clip is from episode 16, where Hotshot and I decide to discuss uh, greatest anime heroes. And... At the time, I was watching Soul Eater, and he decided to name a certain character that I really, really could not stand. I, I just, this character, I, I, I'm usually really, like, I usually enjoy all characters in anime, but this one character really just irked me, and I was just not in the mood that day for that specific character, and he named that character as a uh, greatest anime hero. I, I completely disagreed, and I kind of lost it, so, um... I'm just gonna play it because this is oh my god. Just all right, here it goes. Well, especially with uh, a hot headed, arrogant, bull headed idiot like Black Star with a compassion. Oh my god, what's up? I hate, I hate Black Star. I can't stand him. <laughs> I, I know, I honestly like, I feel like, I, I feel like he doesn't deserve Subaki. <laughs> guy is such a hothead and just so so arrogant and thinks he's all about it like i've watched a couple of episodes of soul leader i can't stand black star black star get off my screen i hate you so much i swear like he's trying to do a sneak attack in one of the first few episodes and he yells out yahoo like don't yell out yahoo you idiot you're gonna get spotted and then like tsubaki saves uh, saves black star a bunch of times you see i'm saying this off of the first few episodes of soul leader i'm currently watching it right now but I swear to God, I, I, I usually don't hate characters, but like Blackstar, <laughs> I hate, I, I hate Blackstar. Get off my screen. Okay. Get, like, seriously though, do you actually hate him? Be real. I promise you, I, I'm, I'm being a hundred percent serious right now. Okay. <laughs> Black, Blackstar is just, just, I hate him. Why you gotta be hating on my list, bro? I'm, I'm hating on your one character <laughs> or that you... No, no. Yeah, that's a 100% hate, hate of my list so far, bro. Why? Why you gotta Yo, do this? How, okay, well, argue with me on this one. I'm sorry, but Blackstar <laughs> doesn't deserve Tsubaki of what I can tell. Can, can we agree on that? Okay, yeah, that we can agree on. <laughs> that we can totally agree on. You have, have you gotten to the sword yet? I have not. Get there. You'll find out. Well, you know what? Pre-sword, Okay. He doesn't deserve her. Ah, <laughs> uh, just Black Star. Just uh, okay. Let's get off. One the way to trigger that, me. Let's get off the of characters that we hate or you hate rather. I love Black Star, and get on to your next one that you. How love. can you love Black Star? <laughs> You're still on this. Ah. <laughs> uh. I would like to say that I still very much dislike Black Star, and. Throughout that episode, I, I take a couple more shots and talk about how much I dislike Black Star. It's uh, it's it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a big deal for me. So uh, make sure to check out episode sixteen if you want to hear me raging about Black Star a bit more. Here's a quick clip where uh, I made a couple of too many jokes on episode five of the podcast. This was this was with uh, Yuki and uh, Kyo. I, I think it's the there, it's one of two times where we podcasted the three of us together. I really like the dynamic that we have uh, there, the three of us. Um, so um, this is uh, Kyo wanting me to introduce the topic for the podcast, and I was kind of goofing around. And you can hear that he's like, "All right, John, just get to it. Stop making jokes." But uh, it was still a really funny moment when I listened back to it. All right, check this out. <laughs> All, all right, right so, all right, topic. Uh, Jayan, do, do you want to introduce the topic tonight? I mean, it's your topic. You're the one who came up with it. This is your baby. If you feel comfortable enough to leave me your baby, I will do it. But I think you I are. I think the, I'll put this right baby up for adoption it. and give it to Jayan because I think he also has to. All spare. right, all right, all right. Well, if this baby, if 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 there's any sort of miscarriage, feel free to stop. What? Okay, stop me. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, go on, Jayan. 
I would like to state that that topic was very much taken care of, and we discussed it, and we went through all the pros and cons, and it was a great podcast. So the there was no miscarriage whatsoever. <laughs> all right. The second last clip is a much more serious clip. Um, there was this one episode of the podcast that I was very hesitant on doing, and it was even the I I I, I chose the topic myself, and I part of me really didn't want to do it, but part of me really wanted to do it as well. It was a very conflicting episode uh, because uh, I keep the podcast very lighthearted and a lot of funny stuff, and we talk about cartoons, you know, so it's not a very quote unquote serious topic, um, but. This topic we decided to talk about a uh, the black uh, bl- it was called episode 11, it was episode eleven of the podcast called the blacklist and so on in the first half we th- we talked about blacklisted animes animes that were considered to be too violent or too mature uh, for for cer- for certain countries and so they were blacklisted and we discussed why we thought they they shouldn't be or shouldn't be blacklisted and then we decided to uh, 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 jump on a topic that's very controversial and a very sad topic called the manga murder kiss I'll, I'll spare you the details of this murder but it was basically uh caused because someone listened to to watch and read too much death note and a murder ensued because of that so that's why it's called the manga murder yuki gives her take on this subject and um she really does a really good job here of really explaining um the reality of uh of the situation and one thing i love about podcasting with yuki is that she's a real she's real she's 100 percent. that's what i love about yuki and um th- this clip right here she she really puts it so well she she is amazing in the, in this clip right here and i i when i listen back to this one i just had to throw this one in here because even if it's a very serious subject uh I wanted to. I, I really think that this uh, clip deserves to be listened back on. And she, she did such a, such a good job. So this is uh, episode eleven, the blacklist. Yuki, I mean, the floor is yours. What, what are your thoughts on all of this? I am also very disgusted by this. Like, here, the like with Death Note, it's not supposed to influence anyone like that. It's supposed to be a. Sh- it's supposed to be a manga, like that's talking about a story. It's talking about a story, and the fact that, like, the only influence you can have from it is, like, story ideas. Uh, well, to me at least. Not like this! This is this is ho- heartbreaking and horrifying to think about, like, because a killing spree like this existing, like, happening in real life, that is horrifying to think about. And the fact that, like, somebody, or, or like, some people, like, having, like, influence from this and doing something as sick as like killing others in such gruesome ways like this like yeah i may be kind of like sadistic in a way but like that's for like story ideas in real life it's just it's terrifying because like you don't like the power of what like stuff like that can do like manga anime even though it's it's supposed to be like a show it can easily influ- it has the power to influence something that's just like a nightmare like it's it's even scary for me the fact that how scary it is is the fact that like the corpses i realized that when like a co- like i believe it was like the first corpse i believe um it was found in September 28th, 2007, on a Friday. Which means it was like, um, like about like nine years ago. That is, uh, that's yeah, also we're what, up what on is the horrifying. Year. No, it, it is really, it is really horrifying. It's scary to I think mean, about, man. See what I mean? She's real. She's so real. I love podcasting with Yuki. Yuki is amazing. All right. So. Last clip. This is this is a very funny clip. Uh, it was from episode ten, the Q and A special that Kyo Yuki and I did. And uh, this one question came up. It was one of the first questions that came up, uh, asking about Nintendo characters and anime characters mixed together. Well, with that equate, basically, that was the gist of the question. And um, I decided to compare Yusuke Urameshi to a Nintendo character, and it was so ridiculous. It just made me it made us laugh so hard. So check this out. The question is. 
Do you think Nintendo characters should have anime? So do you, do you think it should be an anime of Nintendo characters? And I guess which ni- Nintendo characters would you guys want to have that? Jesus. Okay, you know what? Just because they're both they both dressed in green. How about this, Yuki? Luigi as Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> 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 How do you feel about that one? <laughs> spirit gun. <laughs> what would the spirit gun be? Would it, would it be okay, like the okay. like the try, rainbow try, thing that he does? Try to imagine like Yusuke freaking yelling out spirit gun in a freaking Italian accent. <laughs> that's 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 spirit of the gun. Oh, yahoo! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! How about how about like Kaiba? Whenever he plays a a, a, blue, uh, a blue eyes white dragon, it would be like a Yoshi. Like it would be like Yoshi, or like green <laughs> oh dragon. Oh my god! Blue eyes white Yoshi. <laughs> blue eyes white Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's perfect. <laughs> Yuki, maybe you and I need to make an animation together or something with this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like this. I this- summoned the blue eyes white Yoshi. <laughs> At Otunic36 on Twitter, that was an amazing question. <laughs> so yeah, that's the that was the last clip. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of Anime Podcasters. I hope you enjoyed uh, a new episode coming out every month, and uh, very excited for the next episodes. Um, you guys can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Uh, leave us a review. You can also follow me on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash giant music for uh, episodes in your SoundCloud feed. And the podcast is obviously available on YouTube. You can subscribe to the giant music channel for that. Once again, thank you all so much. All of the listeners, all of the people who support this podcast are, are so amazing. And I w- really want to personally thank GoPro Kyo, Hotshot, Ben and Yuki for hosting this podcast with me. They they come on and they're such great people. They are so amazing and I can't this podcast would not be the same without them. They are great people. And so I just want to remind you that the artwork for anime podcasters is provided by GoPro Kyo. So please, like I say in the beginning of every single episode, go follow them on Twitter at GoPro Kyo. Bye guys. <laughs>